welcome back to the channel. This week, I'm gonna be making some swimwear. It is finally summer in Canada, and it's finally super hot outside. I'm really excited to have a couple new bathing suits. So far, I've got one concrete idea in my head that I know for sure I wanna make. So I figure we'll just start there, and then if I come up with another idea for a bikini or something like that throughout the day, we'll make that one as well. First up, as always, with making anything is gathering the materials. Okay, this time, unfortunately, we don't have that much selection at all. As far as swimsuit materials go, I pretty much just have all of this black lycra. So that's pretty well already decided for us, but we do have a ton of fun notions to work with. So I definitely know I'll need bra straps and pretty much, pretty well every type of elastic could be useful in swimwear. Okay, hang on, I was thinking of something else that's not in this bin. Hmm, it's this bag. This is a bunch of plastic side release buckles in different widths. And we have one really, really cool closure in here that I'll show you. Now this is what I'm picturing using for the swimsuit I'm gonna make first. I don't know how well you can see it. Here we go. Okay, so the way it opens is like this. You push it together and then it comes apart in two halves like that. And then it just hooks again. Really, really cool. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is actually just put this between the bust like that. And that'll be like a neat way to fasten like the front of a bathing suit. With all the materials gathered up, let's get to drafting the pattern. So I just ran downstairs and got some of my favorite already existing swimwear. I think this will make for a super fast draft of this bathing suit. To draft this pattern, first I drew out a line to be my center front and center back as usual. Then off of that, I drew two more lines to be my hip and waistline. I used this Adidas swimsuit to draw out the shape of the crotch, something I would realize later on was a bit of a mistake. Then I drew a U shape on the tummy to be a cutout. Once the draft was done, I transferred it to some tracing paper, added seam allowance, and cut it out. Pattern done, time to move on to cutting. I'm really excited. I think that this is gonna turn out really good. I struggled a little to figure out how I wanted the back to be because I didn't really plan out the back. I just, <laughs> I just planned out the front. As you can see here, the back is pretty much the same shape as the front, just with a thin band where the straps will attach. I just thought of something, something to consider. Regularly, swimsuits are lined and they're not lined with the outer fabric as another layer. They're usually lined with a specific type of fabric that is swimsuit lining. However, uh, there's the drums. However, I don't have any swimsuit lining, so I need to consider whether I want to self-line the swimsuit with an extra layer of the outer fabric on the inside, or because it's black and really like quite opaque, like not see-through at all, if I just wanna leave it alone and just let it be one layer. First, I cut out the front piece while I thought some more about the lining situation. Then I decided it was probably best to line the front. Pretty much all bathing suits come lined, so I didn't really want mine to be too thin. Lining the straps would have just been a waste though, so I cut straight across where the straps would have started. All right, so we have all the swimsuit pieces cut. They're ready to go. And I went and fetched this literally gigantic bag of what is actually commonly called swimsuit elastic. It's uh, also called mobile on. Essentially, it's just this clear, really, really stretchy elastic. I'll show you a little bit. There we go. So this is what we're gonna use for literally the whole entire perimeter of the swimsuit. Like we're gonna put it in the neck, in the leg holes, we're gonna put it on the opening, on the tummy. We're just gonna put it everywhere essentially. So you can pretty much just get to sewing. I don't wanna jinx it, but this project is going pretty smoothly so far. I'm really excited for this to be done. Before attaching any mobile on, I needed to sew the two front pieces together so that I could essentially treat them as one thing, making all the steps after that easier. Then I switched over to the serger and searched the side seams and the crotch. At this point though, I thought the leg holes weren't looking high enough and so I trimmed off a little excess. I really, really love that high cut leg look and wanted to make sure the swimsuit was like full blown 80s style. Then I began surging the elastic to the wrong side of the leg openings and the neckline. This was going pretty well, until it wasn't. but this project is going pretty smoothly so far. All right, the surgery decided to take a crop, so let's, uh, let's fix it. There's a problem right there, that, that snap thread. That's not, uh, that's not supposed to happen. Just have to redo that snap thread and we should be good to go. so far.
So I determined essentially that this thread guide, specifically this one over here, this red one, this spool was the one that kept snapping while I was sewing. So what I realized was that like it tends to move over this way just by the threads pulling it. And so what I've done is I took some extra mobile on right here and I've jerry-rigged it to the side of the machine so that it holds the thread guide out here in this position as opposed to over here. Because when it's over here, this red thread just keeps snapping. So I don't know how, I don't know why, but this is how I fixed it. With the serger finally sorted out, I went back to sewing mobile on. This basically never happens. I have no idea why it decided to happen for this video. So I have the mobile on, as you can see from the reflections here, surged everywhere that it needs to go. And the top part is looking really good. I tried it on for a fitting and I'm really just not happy with the bottoms. I don't think it looks good on the butt. It doesn't look flattering. So I need to rework this a little bit. And to do that, I'm actually just gonna trim off the mobile on, open the crotch seam up and make some adjustments. Make some adjustments seems like a bit of a light term in hindsight. As you can see, I had to trim off more than an inch everywhere. But I think you can see once the trimming is done, it already looks so much better. The crotch was just looking way too long. So I need to use this machine. And this is my old machine that that industrial machine back there replaced. However, it doesn't always work that well. So let's just see what we can do. Okay, I didn't really explain it that well, but the reason I need to use this machine specifically is because it's the only one I own that can do a zigzag stitch. And I thought that would be the nicest looking stitch to have around all the edges. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. After zigzagging everywhere, I just had to attach the clasp and sew the straps into place at the back. So at this point, the swimsuit is completely done. I am so happy. It came out even better than I had expected, to be completely honest. It fits great, it looks great. Can't wait for you guys to see at the end. Now, I just need to decide with the rest of my day, am I going to make a swimsuit cover-up of sorts to go with it? Or am I going to make a completely new swimsuit? I think I'm just gonna take a little break, maybe scroll through Pinterest and see if I can get some inspiration. A few minutes later. All right guys, I figured it out, I'm back. I took a little break, I looked at some other swimsuits and I came up with an idea that I'm really happy with. So it's basically gonna be one of those tops that's almost like two gathered squares over each boob, if that makes sense. And then a gathered bikini bottom to go with it. So it's gonna be pretty simple, pretty easy, and I think fun to make. I just need to figure out if I need to actually draft a pattern or if I can just kind of go ahead and start cutting up this material. So as you can see, I pretty much decided to just start cutting up the material. The two bigger rectangles that I cut first will be the cups and the short skinny rectangles will be the channels for the straps to go through. Lastly, I cut three one inch strips the whole width of the fabric. These would be straps, two for the top, one for the bottom. To make the straps, I folded my strips in half and then in half again and zigzag the whole way down. After that, I sewed my skinny strips to the rectangles and then used a jumbo safety pin to feed the straps through. This is also a super handy trick if you lose the end of a drawstring on your hoodie or pants. Just attach a safety pin to the end and like scooch it along until it comes out the other side. All right guys, the bikini top is done. It's right here. So all we have left to do is a matching pair of bottoms and that's a wrap. For the bottoms, I just loosely chalked out the shape I wanted, attached mobile onto the sides and folded the top over. Then I use my safety pin trick again to get the ties through. All right guys, I just finished the bikini bottom, so that's a wrap on both of my bathing suits for the day. Let's go to the beach and check them out.
Did you see yourself in either of these swimsuits? Well, you're in luck. They're both available for purchase on my website, lindevil.com, along with everything else you've seen me make on this channel. Find the link in the description below.